Okay, so when you first launch Eclipse, it's going to look something like this does right here, except instead of being black and gray as mine are, it's going to be white. And you can change the color settings in Java Eclipse by going to Window, Preferences, and then going to General and Appearance. And mine is the dark theme. And you can change that to classic windows, and those are going to be the white background. I just personally like dark because it, for me it's easier on the eye. So that's what I changed it to, and that's where you can uh, change it. And just hit Apply and OK, and you're ready to go. So now that we've got that underway, you'll see over here in this Packages tab or of my workspace, this lists all my directories that I have within the Java program in my workspace. And you won't have any when you first download <laughs> Eclipse, and that's normal, and don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to show you how to add one right now. So you're going to click, right-click on this tab, and then hit from new, you're going to hit Java Project. And this is what comes up, project name. Now, for best practices, I personally like to capitalize my project name. And then I'll show you what I do after that. So we're going to call this the, let's see, we'll call it the Java Basics project. That's what we'll call it. Okay, next. And this part right here, I actually usually just skip. We're, we don't want to worry about what that says. We're just going to say finish. Okay, so in the Java Basics folder, and yours should be at the top because you only have the one, if you click on that little arrow, you're going to see this little uh, package. And this is the default package or file that Eclipse makes for you, but we don't want to use the default. So what we're going to do, oh, what do you know? It has a little operation. Okay, so it's just doing its little thing and building a workspace right now. This does not usually happen, but it's nothing to be worried about. It gives my little progress status bar, and I will pause and come back when it completes. Okay, now that Eclipse finished whatever it wanted to do, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make a new package. And I'm going to call my package the, yeah, we'll just call it Java Basics again. But this time I'm going to do a lowercase j because the best practices or convention for Java names is to give your package a lowercase uh, first letter. And then for your actual class inside the package, you're going to use an uppercase letter. And this just really makes life simple for you when you do it this way. So, because um, then you can recognize, oh, this is a class just by looking at it, or this isn't a class because it's not uppercase. It just makes life easy. So we're going to call this class person. And all I do is type the name. If I wanted to, I could create a, um, a main method, but in this case, I don't want to. So I'm just going to say finish. And then I'm actually going to create a new class. So I just right clicked and on new, and then I hit class. You could also just hit control N and it brings up the same menu. And for this one, I'm going to, I'm just going to call it, um, basics. And this time I'm going to check mark the public static void main, and I'll explain what those mean. So don't worry about that right now. Um, this is what Eclipse will auto generate for us in the class. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of auto generation that an IDE will do for you, and I'll show you a lot of those as we go along. So basically, you're going to have, I'm, we're going to stop here because we're nearing the, the five minutes, but you should have a project folder called Java Basics, and you should have a package within the source folder called 
Java Basics with a lowercase j, and then a class called Basics with an uppercase, and then Person also with an uppercase. And we'll fill in those classes in our next video. Thanks for watching.